Now we need to talk about resolution again because its importance can't be stressed enough. Resolution is defined as the pixels per square inch in an image. It is sometimes referred to as the PPI or the DPI. PPI stands for pixels per inch and is a better way to describe resolution than DPI, which stands for dots per inch. PPI is your pixels per inch as well as the pixel dimension, and it is what your file is made up of. DPI is the printed translation of resolution. Dots refer to the possible halftone dots printed per inch in an image. This is directly related to the pixels per inch or the PPI. It is the printed translation of pixels into dots, which we call halftone dots in printing, and you can see them on the bottom of this slide. Web resolution is 72 pixels per inch, meaning that every one inch of the image will contain a pixel dimension of 72 pixels across and 72 pixels tall. This can be a little misleading, however, because digital outputs like web outputs are determined by the resolution of the image and the resolution of the display, de of the display device. It's more accurate to describe the resolution as 72 pixels per inch, but to refer to the size of the image in pixels instead of inches. Here's an example. An image is 7 inches by 5 inches at 72 ppi. This does not accur accurately describe how large the image will be displayed on a screen. It may be bigger or smaller than 7 inches by 5 inches, depending on the resolution of the screen. An image is 504 pixels by 360 pixels at 72 ppi. This explains that the very same image is formatted for web, 72 ppi, and that it will take up exactly 504 by 360, 360 pixels when on screen. File size in both inches and pixels is very important when working with web resolution. Higher file sizes mean longer load times and more storage needs. Every time images are prepped for a web or a digital display output, the ultimate goal is to have the exact number of pixels needed and not a single pixel more. Any extra pixels increase the file size without providing any extra quality benefits. If you look at these examples on the slide, you should notice that the image quality does not improve as the resolution increases. It just makes the file size much larger. On the flip side, decreasing web resolution below 72 ppi and the exact number of pixels needed for your intended output will have negative consequences on image quality. Here on this slide, you can see that as the resolution is lowered, the quality of the image deteriorates. This all can be confusing, and print resolution has its own requirements. This may not be as easily defined as web resolution, so listen carefully. 300 pixels per inch is considered to be a standard printing resolution. This is a setting that works for the majority of printing processes, but each type of printing has its own parameters when it comes to proper resolution. LPI is an additional resolution term used in printing. It stands for lines per inch and describes the frequency of halftone dots a particular printing process can print in every one inch. Desktop inkjet printers use anywhere from 240 to 300 ppi, but you should always check your printer settings. For example, our Canon PIXMA Pro 1 printers on campus require a resolution of at least 240 ppi. Commercial printing processes use a formula taking LPI into consideration. Grayscale images use 1.5 times the LPI to equal the resolution, which usually comes in about 200 ppi or has a resolution of 200 and color images use two times the LPI, which usually comes in about 250 to 350 PPI. Some printing process have higher quality LPI like gravure printing, while others have lower LPI like screen printing, but the formulas used are still the same. Grayscale images use 1.5 times LPI to equal the resolution, and color images use two times the LPI to equal the resolution. The resolution. File size is also important for print resolution. Sending files to a printer or uploading them to an FTP can take a long time. Our goal is to optimize the file size so that we have enough data to produce our desired quality without sending needlessly large files to a printer. Again, if you look here at these examples, notice how the image quality does not increase when the resolution is set above 300. We need to note here that we use 300 ppi in this example because it is accepted as a standard printing resolution. This graphic is illustrating that any resolution higher than the resolution that you need for your intended output will cause large file sizes without any quality benefit. So if the needed resolution is 200, the same thing would apply. Anything above 200 would not see any noticeable image quality increase.
just like we talked about with rev web resolution, decreasing resolution below 300 ppi, or whatever the optimal resolution is that you need, will cause negative consequences on the image quality of your final printed output. In the examples on this slide, we will note again that we use 300 ppi because it's accepted as the standard resolution for printing. And this example is illustrating that any resolution lower than the resolution you need for your intended output will cause image quality loss.